हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू आर हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज दैट डिटरमाइन द आउटवर्ड आउटसाइड सरफेस एरिया ऑफ द स्टोरेज टैंक सो वी हैव द स्टोरेज टैंक एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड द सर्फेस एरिया सो एज वी हैव लर्न दिवरम ऑफ पापस एंड गुल्डीनेस सो दिस इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट थेवरम ऑफ पापस एंड गुल्डीनेस so the first theorem of papas and gulliness says that the surface area uh, it will be equal to the product of the distance traveled by the centroid times the length of the uh, of the arc or line segment right so let me write that that is uh, theta and for composite shape we modify that equation and that is theta into the summation of r tilde times the length of the line segments so now what does this mean is that if if we consider uh, an axis is of revolution like this if this if let's say this is my z axis is, and if we revolve uh, this line segment about this z axis is, so it will generate this conical surface area and similarly if we rotate and this straight line segment about this z axis so it will generate this cylindrical surface area so the combination of both of these if we sum up this surface area plus this surface area so that will be the total surface area generated by these two line segments so for that we have two line segments so let me write that line segment number we will gen we will generate a table right so this will be this uh, line segment number then its length length of each segment then we will find the perpendicular distance of the centroid of each line segment from the z axis from the axis of revolution and then we will take the product of r tilde times l so now this is our line segment 1 we can find its its length so by using the pythagoras theorem and considering this uh, triangle this this slant length will be equal to this 4 square plus this 15 square under the square root so this is 4 square plus 15 square so this gives us square root of 241 and this is 15.524 so this is 15.524 feet so the, the units of this length will be in feet and similarly the centroid of this line segment will be at its midpoint somewhere here and if we uh, find the perpendicular distance of this centroid uh, from the z axis so we will have this length we will have this is the r bar this will be the r tilde for this line segment so if if this is the midpoint so uh, this length is 15 so this r tilde will be equal to this 15 divided by 2 this is 15 divided by 2 so which is 7.5 so this is 7.5 feet so the perpendicular distance of the uh, centroid of this line segment from the axis of revolution is 15 divided by 2 which is 7.5 let me write the units here this is in feet and now we will take the product of this so this is 7.5 into 15.524 similarly this is our line segment 2 its length is 30 feet so we will write 30 and its cent its centroid will be again at its midpoint at uh, and its midpoint is at a distance of 15 feet so that is our bar for this line segment so that is 15 and now we will take the product of this so this is 15 into 30 and this is the summation of these two right so we will add both of these so that will be the summation of r tilde times l so this is seven we will add up this using calculator so that is 7.5 into 15.524 plus 15 into 30 so this gives us 566.43 so 566.43 and the units of this will be if we multiply this with this so this is feet square this is feet square so we will get this in feet square and now if we put this in this equation one 
so the surface area we can write that this surface area will be so theta so if, if to get this uh, tank we need to revolve these two line segments by 360 degrees about this z axis so 360 degree in radians is 2 pi radians so theta is 2 pi radians i will use this in radians so this is 2 pi multiply by the summation of r tilde times l so this is that value which is 566.43 so now if we take this product so that will give us the surface area generated by these two segments when they are revolved about that z axis so this is 2 pi multiply by 566.43 so this gives us the surface area equal to 358.98 which is approximately 300 3559 so the surface area is 3559 and this will be in feet square so let me write that area here this area for the 991 problem the surface area is 3559 feet square now to solve the 992 problem we need to consider the area since the the second theorem of the Pappus and Guldiness says that the volume is equal to theta and the summation of r tilde times the area so the volume will be generated if we consider the areas right instead of the line segments so now we have two areas we have if we consider the cross section so we will have this area uh, this triangular area this is our area one let's say and then we have this rectangular area let's say this is this rectangular area so if we revolve these two areas about this that axis so that will give us a volume right so again we have to construct a table so we have to write the segments number this this is area one our segment one this is segment two now we will find the areas of each segment and the area will be in feet square then we will find the the perpendicular distance of the centroid of each area from that z axis or axis of revolution and then we will take the product of this r tilde with that area so r into area so this triangular area is our segment one our area one so i will write one then we will find its area so that is one divided by two so the base is 15 and the height is 4 so this is 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 into 15 is 30 so this is 30 feet square and this r tilde so the centroid of this triangle will be somewhere here and as we know from the centroid topics that the centroid of a triangle is at a distance of uh one third of this length right so this 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 is the r tilde for this area one and this r tilde will be one third of this 15 right so this one third into 15 so this gives us five so this r tilde is five and the units are in feet and now if you multiply this so this is 5 into 0 is 0 and 5 into 3 is 15 so this is 150 and the units of this will be feet cube similarly this uh, area 2 which is the rectangular area so this is 2 and this area is 15 into 30 the height is 30 so 15 into 30 and the centroid of this rectangular area will be at its geometric center let's say it is somewhere here so this distance this will be r bar uh, sorry this will be r tilde for the centroid of this area 2 let's say this is c2 and this is c1 so this will be the half of 15 so 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so let me write that this is 7.5 and 7.5 into 15 into 30 so let me find this 7.5 into 15 into 30 this gives us 3375 this is 3375 and now we will add up both of these so this is this will be the summation of r tilde times the area so that 3375 plus 150 so that gives us the summation which is 3525 so this is 3525 
and now we have this uh, second theorem of Pappus and Guldiness which says that the volume will be equal to theta so again we need to revolve these two areas are these two surfaces for an angle of 360 degrees so 360 degrees in radian is 2 pi radians so theta is 2 pi and the summation of r tilde times a is this so this will give us the volume which is generated by revolving these two areas about the z axis that is 35 25 multiplied by 2 pi so this gives us uh, 22148 so approximately the volume is 22148 feet cube so this is the solution of this 992 problem which asks us to find the volume of the storage tank so the volume of the storage tank is 22148 feet cube i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics